In a county that largely relies on tourism to keep the economy afloat, Orange County leaders said Thursday they know discussions are underway about possible travel restrictions from the White House, specifically a rule that could require a negative COVID-19 test for domestic air travel. The vaccine is rolling out uh, significantly across the country. Uh, Almost all of the metropolitan areas are seeing significant declines at this point, so I don't believe that that's necessary. Reports indicate any restrictions would be meant to target the new COVID-19 variants. Data from the CDC shows Florida has 347 cases of the strain traced back to the UK. That's more than twice the state that has the second most, California. Still, both Orlando and Orange County's mayors oppose the idea. We're headed in the right direction and we've taken the right precautions here and people can make their own choice about whether they're going to travel. The region's tourist development tax collections on hotel rooms reached just over ten and a half million dollars for the month of December. That's down 59% from last year. At the county's coronavirus briefing, the Greater Orlando Aviation Authority's CEO claimed tests for domestic travel could have an impact on other tests locally. That has to affect the efficacy and the availability of the community testing that's already proven very effective. A spokesperson for the White House tells WESH 2 as of now they have not made any decisions. They are just discussing recommendations. Outside Orlando International Airport, Hadass Brown, WESH 2.